walking along, my mind runs free. Underneath my feet, treetops swaying to my feet. So there's two ways how I like to fish frilling cod on uh, on the rocks or on the jetty. One with like a jig and just a little lead head and a little swim bait or grub or something. And then the second way is with bait. A little herring. And for that rig, I have a snap swivel, a weight, I like to use a three ounce, and then an octopus hook, and then a treble hook. This method is probably my favorite. It works and it catches keeperlings. So how I hook the herring is through the gills here. This is a frozen herring. And then a treble. Then put the treble in the back here. And then I'm using 20 pound test on my main line and my leader. And I like to use a short leader about like a foot or maybe 14 to 16 inches tops. So otherwise you don't have a huge leader floating around everywhere getting caught in the rocks. And then I like to cast. It's a little tight right now. So we'll cast about maybe 30 feet out and uh, maybe we'll get one. Nice and calm today, so that's good for when you're either rock fishing or going for wing cod or snapper or whatever. It's like three or four foot at like 14 seconds and low tide. Okay, so just going to cast it out. pretty far because I find the farther you are out in the jetty the farther you want to cast it out that's how I have the best or the most of my success and then I just let it sink to the bottom and wait for a bite sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it doesn't I like to have my drag kind of loose in case I'm not looking and one bites and runs with it. It doesn't pull your rod in the water. So I'm just gonna find a nice spot for my pole here. And usually it takes a while or sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And hopefully we'll get a bite on camera. So what I do, if I think I'm getting a bite, tighten my drag, reel out the slack, and then feel the line. If you feel thumps, then you got one. I don't got one. Don't be afraid to let him eat it because otherwise they'll just be hitchhiking. I've crossed the line in the 
sand. The bounty. <laughs> it's a link. I got him. It feels pretty nice. Hopefully he's the keeper. Ooh, taking a little run. Oh, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Yeah. Hold on. I'll bring him up on here. Let's get up here. Yeah. I don't have there we go. fires in. Woo! One stay fresh, dude. One stay fresh, uh. There we go, I got one. On the little jig. Feels like a rockfish. What is he? That's a little link. See it? Jigs always catch the smaller lings. But I always think around this time of year, there's always the smaller lings, not the big ones. Fall seems to be the best time for ling. Some little teeth. Oh, he's a good looker. There he goes. Not on the what's it called? Herring bow. But was a lane. I did catch that one maybe two weeks ago. That was on the herring, that keeper. That was just off the lighthouse over there. So, seems like on the jetty though, you always catch smaller ones around this time of year. Bigger ones in the fall, late summer. Even when we fish off the boat.
Next cast after the ling. Little black rockfish. Snapper. Woo! There we go. They are just loving this. This is a little grub I was using. Caught that lean cod and snapper on. Just a little half ounce jig. And like a black color with blue specks. Uh, Berkeley power bait. Power worm, I think they're called. And they always work well for me. Want to keep them? Oh. He's feisty. Second one. Gonna let him go. Wait till the waves calm down. Whee! There it goes. Thanks for watching Redwood Coast Fishing. Please like and subscribe.